Hi, I'm Reno Meyer, Google Developer Advocate. Today I learned that every car crash, 311 call, tree, city bike trip and station, and limousine ride in New York City is available as public data sets in Google BigQuery. Do you know on which New York City streets you're most likely to find a loud party? Maybe the one place where a collision caused by an animal also injured a cyclist. Or the city bike record for the longest distance ridden in the shortest time. One of the amazing things about working at Google is the ability to do whatever's necessary to find answers. So, let's head to New York. Or to this computer representation of New York from here in San Francisco. After all, what better way is there to get to know New York City than by immersing yourself in the hustle and bustle of data analysis and visualizations representing its eight and a half million residents and 50 million yearly visitors. For example, in 2016, these city streets witnessed a lot of traffic accidents. There were over 200,000 motor vehicle collisions across the five boroughs, resulting in over 50,000 injuries and 200 deaths, mainly due to driver inattention and motorcyclists being the most likely to die in the case of a collision. When the temperature in New York drops, New Yorkers retreat inside and call 311 about the snow or lack of heat in hot water, especially in the Bronx. All across New York, people are concerned with the noise and the condition of the city streets. But when you normalize the results by the size of each borough's population, you see that the people of Staten Island have the biggest infrastructure issues. No matter the weather, it's the potholes, rough, cracked roads, and cave-ins that have Staten Islanders calling 311. If it's a Wednesday, the people of New York are taking lots of short rides on their city bikes. Since 2013, there's been over 33 million city bike rides, averaging 15 minutes per ride. Riders skew 76% men to 24% women, and with 52% of all riders aged between 27 and 41. With this route, alongside the Hudson, by far the most popular. Using these preloaded public data sets, you can investigate almost every aspect of the city. By analyzing tree survey data, you can discover that in 1995, the most common tree in New York was the Norway maple, with over 100,000 trees. And that by 2005, it was overtaken by the London plane tree. As always, your first terabyte of processing is free, meaning you can run all the queries I've shown you, and many more, at no cost. Sign up or sign in to BigQuery today and create your own New York City visualizations, and share them with us using this Today I Learned with BigQuery hashtag. And of course, subscribe to our channel and follow our blog to learn something new with BigQuery.